Hi, it's Lindy. Today I wanted to go over some Microsoft account settings. I'm going to show you what you can do with your privacy, how you can alter things, your security. You can see where Microsoft says you've been signing in from. We're just going to go over all of these items here. Starting with your info can manage these items right here. So if you have Xbox or Skype, you can do that. You can change your picture here, your contact information here. So let's move over to privacy. And this has a lot of items. You can look at what you've done, your activity history. You can download your data. You can look at what Cortana knows about you and add settings. And they've got a little uh, thing you can click there to see what their privacy policy is. And you can go to your activity history page and you can see here, this is an account I don't use very much, so there's not too much here. You can go and see what, what it knows about you, and then you can go clear it out. We'll clear that out later. But if we go back over here, let's. I wanted to scroll down to these other items. So the browsing history, you can look at your search history. So you can see what you've searched for, and you can clear it out. If you've turned on your location, services that is also kept in memory and you can look at that and clear that out and I don't have anything there I think there's one other thing this is Cortana if you use Cortana and no, I don't they do it says we will collect and store your audio recordings so we can enhance your experience so I I think they just have would have to listen all the time so I don't use Cortana I keep it turned off this is information Cortana has about you and you can edit that you can tell Cortana what all you want to know. I'm not really into this Microsoft Health, but there's that information there as well. Here's some more things down here at the bottom. You can go look at different settings. So there's a lot on this tab. Moving over to security. This is where you can come and change your password and update your, your security information. And here's where you can review your activity. So this tells you where you've, you're, you've signed in. Now this isn't all always right because here it said I'm signing in from Portland and or Vancouver and that's not right but if I if I go down um, I think that's one I did I put in a wrong password here's another one and yeah, that one's still wrong if I go down here uh, then it's got me in Oklahoma City which is where I am so it's it's I don't know if it's right all of the time, but you can come and see all the different sign-ons. I think that's real helpful. Payment and billing, that's if you pay for any services. You can go and alter that if you want. If you your services and subscriptions, if like I've got a Microsoft, I've got several subscriptions and things like that, but I don't have them under this email address. All I have here is my OneDrive because I do have OneDrive space with out this Outlook account. It's got these other things here that I can look into and they're trying to get me to you know look at Office 365, Office Online, etc. And then devices if you want to pair a device you can do that and I haven't done that. And this family is if you have a, a child and you want to put them in here and you can put in some safeguards and things. I haven't looked at that because I don't need it, but that that is what you can do with your account information. And to get there, you just go to account.microsoft.com and sign in with your credentials. I hope that was helpful.